I'm going to show you how easy it is to make plastic plastic carbonara. The first time I had it was in Rome and I knew I had to learn how to make it at home. Let's get started. When selecting the pasta, typically long slender noodles are used like spaghetti, but you could also use linguine or fettuccine or even bucatini. If you prefer, you could also use shorter pastas like cavatappi or penne. You just want to make sure that it holds up well when stirring. In a large pot, bring four quarts of water to a boil. I like to season it with one tablespoon of salt. Just gently stir to dissolve the granules. This is going to add a nice seasoning to the pasta. Add one pound of dried spaghetti to the pot. Give the pasta a stir so that they don't stick together. Cook this until it's al dente with a little bit of chili in the center, about 10 to 12 minutes. While the pasta boils, we're going to prepare the pork. The most common types of cured pork to use for the pasta is guanciale, which is pork gel or cheeks. You can use pancetta, which is from the pork belly, or smoked bacon. I'm going to use pancetta. This has been diced up. It's going to add a nice, rich, and savory taste. Heat a large pan over medium heat. Add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, carefully add in the pork. Saute until crispy, about five to seven minutes. You're going to want to reserve three to four tablespoons of the rendered grease. It's going to add a lot of flavor to the pasta. Transfer the cooked pancetta to a plate. Add the hot pasta straight from the boiling water into the pan. Toss with the rendered grease so that it coats the noodles. Let's make the sauce. All you need are three simple ingredients. Eggs, Parmesan cheese, and black pepper. We're going to add two large eggs and four egg yolks. The extra fat from the egg yolks prevents the egg whites from curdling too tightly together, preventing it from scrambling when they're cooked. Don't get rid of those egg yolks. Use it to make an omelet or scramble the next day, ricotta pancakes, or even meringues. Aged cheese like Pecorino Romano, Parmesan, or Parmesan Reggiano add a wonderful tangy and salty taste to the dish. Use a large metal bowl that is big enough to sit over the pot of hot water. Add in the eggs, four egg yolks and two whole eggs, one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk to combine. Now we're going to add the pasta to the sauce. Toss to evenly cook the noodles. Add the pancetta and stir it in with the pasta. To prevent the egg sauce from curdling, we're going to add a half a cup of the starchy and salty pasta water to the bowl. Gradually add the water Toss in between. The tempering process helps to gently cook the raw egg and keep the sauce smooth. The starches from the pasta water also helps to create a buffer, preventing the egg proteins from curdling, giving a smoother, silky sauce. To finish the cooking process, we're going to make a makeshift bain-marie. If needed, discard some of the pasta water. You want to make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. Bring it to a boil, then place the pot on top. The steam generated in between is going to help gently cook the eggs. Constantly stir and toss the pasta. This is going to help the sauce thicken up and coat the noodles. This process takes about three to five minutes. Make sure to incorporate the sauce on the bottom of the bowl so that it doesn't curdle. The bain-marie helps to gradually warm up the sauce so it cooks the eggs to about 149 degrees, creating a delicious sauce. If you like a thinner sauce, you can gradually add a little bit more of the starchy pasta water, but this looks amazing and I'm ready to eat. Let's do it. Add the pasta to a plate. Garnish with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, freshly cracked black pepper, and some chopped parsley for a pop of color. Now we're ready to dig in. Now that you know how to make homemade pasta carbonara, what would you serve it with? Leave a comment below. Get the full recipe over on my website, jessicagavin.com. See you in the next video.